31 past the hour, we're looking at the aftermath of the music festival massacre, this horrific attack that upended hundreds of lives, including families of those believed to be hostages now of Hamas. Among the missing is 23-year-old Aviatar David. His family says they had no idea what happened to him after the festival until they received this graphic video from an unknown number showing him being taken by Hamas. Joining us now is his sister, Yela David. Yela, thank you for, for being with us. And, you know, we're not putting up that video anymore. We're not showing it. And, and I want to just share with you how much we feel for you and, and your family. Um, just have you heard from or about Eviatar since that horrific unknown number video? Um, no, we actually haven't heard anything since we, we watched uh, these videos. Uh, the, the last thing we, we've heard, um, two, two soldiers came to our house and officially told us that Eviatar is, was kidnapped and now he's in, uh, on Gaza Strip. Except that, unfortunately, we have no information. We don't know anything. So the, there, was, there was some confirmation that he is in the, the Gaza Strip. Tell me, uh, take me back to, uh, to Saturday, last Saturday. Uh, we woke up uh, at uh, 6.30 in the morning to an uh, alarming sound of a siren, which uh, in Israel, when you hear the siren, you know you need to leave anything you're doing and go in uh, to the nearest bomb shelter. Uh, so my mom immediately texted the uh, Aviatar to see if everything is okay. And he answered there that people are bombing them, that people are launching rockets. Um, at uh, 7.45, uh, it was the last message we, we got from him, uh, which in, in that message, he told us that they are starting to come back home. At, uh, at 11 a.m., I posted uh, on social media a picture of Aviatar uh, with my phone number. So if anyone knows anything, uh, so he can call me and let me know. Um, like a few, few hours ago, um, at 2 p.m., uh, an unknown number he texted me on WhatsApp. Uh, he asked for, for my brother if, if we know something new. And I told him, uh, no, we don't know anything yet. And then he texted me, okay, because I think I recognized him from one of the videos Hamas posted. And he sent me a, a screenshot of, uh, of my brother's face, which I, uh, I immediately recognized. Um, but I, I, I didn't believe, <laughs> I didn't believe what I'm seeing. So I, I mm -hmm. called my family and I asked them, is that a guitar? Uh, and they, uh, they told me it does. Uh, and for, 50 hours we we didn't know anything everything we know was that he got kidnapped by hamas uh, again we saw it on telegram we, we knew it from hamas and uh like 50 hours ago uh, not ago uh, later, um, two soldiers came to our house 
and yeah. uh, officially told us he got kidnapped. And Ayala, you know, we're we're seeing things develop as a consequence of of last Saturday. Um, there is, you know, a warning going out to the uh, residents of of Gaza to to move to leave. It's. I'm just wondering, as a family and and as you know, someone who you know you love your brother more than anything in the world, how are you processing this and? What do you want us to know about how one deals with such pain and such uncertainty at a moment that is brought to you through no choice? Look, uh, this is a situation that no one uh, prepares you to. Um, Me and uh, and my brother, his name is Eli. Uh, he's uh, older than Aviatar. For the last two days, we are trying to explain to the world, to post on social media, anything we want. Uh, Aviatar's name will be uh, will stay on on everyone's mind. Actually, we're staying very positive. We are surrounded by a family and uh, by uh, Vietar's friend. Um, and I know, I know that soon I will get to hug him again and to to hold him tight and and never, never, never let him go. I really, really, really believe in that. I really know he will come back soon. Ila, uh, David, thank you so much. We will, of course, stay close to you. And uh, there is always, always hope. You know, there is always hope. And I, I thank you, Ila, for, for being with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much.